it always creeped me out. I always felt it was cursed. Uh, never did like it. I'm definitely not going to hold on to it. You know, if she ever sees this all these years later, uh, which I doubt she will. You ever play a lethal company? Yeah. <laughs> Do you get the lethal company uh, reference? Yeah, I'm doing lethal company in real life here. You know, you don't know what you're going to breathe in or getting your hair in that. So, doing this shirt ninja style. I hold uh college thing where you take a t-shirt and you make yourself into a ninja with it turns out it's kind of useful like the shinobi saying the best weapon is a weapon in hand i normally wear a bandana or something for these very purposes but i forgot mine today uh had no t-shirt in the truck though works right american ninja even okay all right Operation Hedgerow. This is the start of it. Cleaning out this old building. Oh man, look at this mess. If you guys were wondering what was in here. It is a fucking mess. I'm gonna have to get a mask to put on. Probably do it shirt ninja style and start filling this stuff up in the trash bags. If I come across any cool finds like this RC car, you know, like this old, what is that, a Thunderbird? Back when RC cars actually were so cheap, you had to have cables on them. Maybe I'll show you, but I'm thinking a lot of this is just, you know, going to have to wear gloves, ratness material. This particle board is falling off. Uh, really don't want to start getting into this until I have my gloves on. Uh... A lot of magazines there. I believe these are my mom's old magazines. Yeah, looks like women's magazines. Total ratness material. It's winter time now though, so I don't have to worry about bugs and snakes and all sorts of other critters. But yeah, the idea is to slowly but surely get all of this cleaned out. I want to get this building cleaned out. And then I want to start on the trailer. Um, but I'm going to get the building first so I can use the building sort of like as temporary storage. While I'm getting stuff out of the trailer, I can move it into here, then move it into the truck. Because my uncle's doing this passive-aggressive thing like he always does. Uh, when he hears word that I'm coming up here to work on stuff and to do stuff... He'll want to like block the driveway and get in my way and just just start passive aggressive shit. So I'm just gonna fix it so I can use this as a like a little depot and pray that tree doesn't get blown over in the high winds. It's approximately 35 degrees out right now, kind of windy. I'm gonna go get a mask on shirt ninja style and try to back up uh, about. I don't know, four trash bags worth of junk. You can see there that that's got Toby Road on it. So last time Toby was here was like 1987 maybe. So the stuff in here is from the 80s, 90s. Uh, this is why you shouldn't really, I mean, I know like a lot of people want to get mini storage and stuff and hold on to crap, but this is the reason if you're not going, if you don't use something in five years, you need to just clean it out before it gets like this. Got an old Ecto, Ghostbusters Ecto chassis there. This would be terrible to clean out, you know, during the summer because, yeah, like I said, bugs, rats, snakes. Uh, wintertime now, it looks like we've even got a shock or a strut or something there. Piggly Wiggly bag. I'm sure this some of this stuff is, like, not good for you, like, toxic. So, again, yeah, I'm going to get a mask and uh, get started i really don't think anything in here is going to be i'm not even going to try to keep it i'm just going to trash it good old uh, railroad rotted down like we used to spend the model railroads and stuff my uncle had built that and uh never finished it told him he'd come get it but he never would so yeah let's get to work get her done operation hedgerow starting january the 10th 2024 again the plan is to 
get this trailer cleaned out enough so that when I go back to working full time and go back to school, the one end of the trailer is totally ruined. That's kind of spooky how that fan will just turn in the wind like that. One end of the trailer is totally ruined. Well, most of the trailer is ruined. It's like this here. But if I clean it out, um, I'll at least be able to go up there and maybe take a nap or, or study some coursework without having to worry about my uncle and dog and shit. So yeah, not only is it fucking cold, but you know, you don't know what you're gonna breathe in or getting your hair in that. So doing this shirt ninja style, an old uh, college thing where you take a t-shirt and you make yourself into a ninja with it. Turns out it's kind of useful. Like the Shinobi saying, the best weapon is a weapon in hand. I normally wear a bandana or something for these very purposes, but I forgot mine today. Uh, had no t-shirt in the truck though, works, right? American ninja even. Holy shit, I found one thing that's kind of a holy grail. And that is an old speaking spell. I, I don't know, it looks like it's got moisture in it. I don't know, I might try to clean that up and actually save that because uh, those were really neat from the 80s. As you can see, I don't know what this powdery stuff is. I just know I don't want to breathe it in. Got no baseball mitt. Uh, it's like a train back there. Some sort of center console. Oh man, it's got an odor. Ugh. A bunch of rocks. It looks like sawdust. Oh god, that puked. Kind of has like a rat piss smell. You know, definitely. This is why you don't want to just save stuff folks after a while it's unsavable in fact I'm wondering if this floor from the looks of it I don't know if that uh, like looks like it's, that's, that floor might just be sawdust luckily I got some brooms in here though so when I sweep out this whole mess but yeah I've got one bag where I've got four more bags to go through we'll see what we can find I'm going to show you some really cool stuff in a moment, but I found these really neat flip-up uh, sunglasses, which ain't no count now, but they were probably cool back in the day. Found the old center console for my bus. Even found some uh, old shock absorbers for my bus, but I came across uh, these records. And you would think they're older than they are, you know, because it says Faced Out Disco. But it's Star Wars... This goes themes from Star Wars 2001, Star Trek. Might have been collectible someday. Got Don Williams. But I mean, these are practically ruined now. You know, if you just, I mean, I'm not gonna take the time and effort to clean them up. Who knows, maybe they're worth a million dollars and I'm throwing away a million dollars, but yeah. You put stuff up like this and you leave it forever and you leave it in an environment like this, paying fifty dollars for mini storage or something, you know, it's just it's just gonna go to waste. Need to get that shit. Quickly got the old like vampire teeth. Rat's nest, rat's nest, rat's nest. There's a box back there, I'm wondering what's in it. Probably empty. If there's anything in it, I'll let you know. Uh but yeah, I've literally started resorting because this stuff is literally crumbling there's an old volkswagen shock got volkswagen bumper parts in that um i've started using a shovel and just shoveling this stuff out if you look at this old fin here i'm pretty sure this is from the it looks like it's from the teenage mutant ninja turtle blimp from back in the day you know what i'm saying just nothing but memories really left nothing salvageable so far except maybe that speaking spell because if the chip and stuff is good in that somebody might be able to you know use it for music and stuff these days but so far nothing i mean some cool stuff but nothing i really have the time and patience to to restore if i was in a different si situation maybe but like even getting further and further in there you'll notice there's like a black sawdust like powder and I'm thinking that's organic matter I don't know it looks like maybe the dirt's rotten or the, the wood's rotted 
fraud on its rat shit and bat shit and every disease under the sun in there. So, you know, I'm not in any real, a lot of this stuff I'm just shoveling out and filling up. I think, you know, it's going to take me another day. It looks like there's some bigger stuff back there. Came across this old lamp that you would think maybe you could restore from the 70s. It looks like it's from the 70s or the 60s, but oh, no, I've got to go crack in it. So, you know, what's the point in holding on to stuff like that? There's the Volkswagen shocks. We replaced the shocks on my uh, VWs. <laughs> and I started shagging for some reason. Kept the old shocks. I don't know why. Um, hoarders. Uh, from a family of hoarders. I don't know if people remember these even. Uh, but do you remember these like little plastic uh, army jets and army men. You know, even got an army man there. Actually, that don't look like an army man. That looks like something else, but you get the idea. Why Why keep this stuff? <laughs> why, why did we keep it? Bubble blowers, like little Gumby things. You know, why keep it? These little skeletons out of uh, candy boxes. Jello wrappers, vampire teeth. Yeah, should have done this a long time ago. Even had like a rock collection, right? So of course it was in a bag, but when you lift that bag up, first box I lifted up, it just disintegrated and everything went on the floor and I had to just literally start shoveling. Looks like that uh, table is leaning precariously probably when I start getting stuff off of that it'll start falling over but I've already got almost uh, three bags worth I don't I decided to double bag I did bring four bags but I said you know this is one of the thinner bags I'm gonna double it up I, uh, I'm gonna get a few more shovel worths and an inflatable I actually remember that inflatable lobster I actually remember that lobster ride on if you can look up a uh, YouTube video of one, one of those looked like new back in the day. But yeah, Easter egg uh, things. Like I said, if I find any more in the next few shovelfuls, I'll let you know. Otherwise, I'm going to go down the hill and I'm going to show you what the, the situation with Uncle Hemorrhoid is. Here's what I'm talking about with my uncle being a dipshit real quick. As you see, we cut this tree, that tree... And if you look over here, you know, this big old monster of a tree that maybe you would have seen in some of the older videos. Uh, we had some professional loggers come in and cut them. You know, they offered, uh, they took, you know, all of the lumber and stuff away. But my uncle was like, eh, leave that tree for me. I want it for firewood. Leave that tree for me. After we had paid these people to cut these trees, right? And he's got 50 acres of land and trees all over the place. And he's got wood still laying around here that we've left for him to get that he still never came and got. Uh, he doesn't need it. But now you can't back out of the driveway and turn. You used to be able to back out of the driveway and turn. Can't do that now. Can't park down there now. Garbage truck and everything else has trouble getting in and out. UPS truck has trouble getting in and out. And like I said, when I'm up there on the hill trying to do work and clean stuff, if he catches wind of it, I'm doing it today because it's such a miserable day. It's been raining and it's 30 degrees out. And I know he wasn't going to come over today because of that. But if it's a nice day out and he catches wind that I'm going to be trying to do work, he'll park his truck right there in the way. And he'll lollygag from like 8 a.m. to, to from, so from sun up to sundown. So you can't get anything done because you're having to work around him and around his schedule. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't even need that fucking tree. He's got all the tree. He's got like a land like this, all sorts of trees and forest. But that that's the shit he's doing. It's annoying. But yeah, that's why I'm doing Operation Hedgerow. Why I'm risking getting sick out here in this 35 degree weather and this wet and, and all this muck and stuff is... uh. Yeah, I'm going back up on the hill temporarily, just go back to working full time, leaving grandma to the wolves, pretty much. I'm going back up on the hill, which is what I did back in the day, back in the early or late 90s, 
I had to do that. I had to put a camper up there just so I could have some place to sleep and to go to work and school and stuff because uh, of crap like that. And uh, it's just like me and a kid all over again doing it the same way all over again. I know it works. We've done it before. We can do it again like the old song used to say. Uh, but yeah, that's Operation Hedgerow because my uncle, well, really where it got the name is I thought about it going up there where my cousin's old house is and I'll walk over here and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, get a better view. Maybe you can see it from here. Um, but you look up at where my cousin's old house was. I was thinking, wow, that's like a, you can't even walk through their yard now. See how much it's grown over. I said, well, it's like a hedgerow. If I was to like put a camper back there, I said, you know, where Nick was to move up there, because Nick was in a, in a spot himself there for a little while. And I said, well, you can always move up there. And I said, but, well, you know, we won't even be able to walk up and visit you. I said, you know what? That gives me an idea. My uncle's never been up there in like since the 1970s. He's never been up there since the 1970s. So, you know, if he starts coming up there and fucking with me when I move up there, I have all the grounds, especially after things have been going on, I have all the grounds to file a restraining order against them. Uh, kick him off the land basically i can't do that down here because grandmother grandmother you know just letting the guy steamroll us that's what it feels like to me is like when i was in jail you'd have a cell you'd be in the cell you know for years and you'd have this new guy come in he, he'd want to take over that's what it feels like with my uncle you know he's wanting to take over and i gotta just be real passive about it because he's family and you know the situation means being stupid enough to come back and stay here uh i mean actually trapped here on probation at gunpoint and then deciding to stay here and try to help with my grandparents no good deed goes unpunished you know i didn't think in a million years this guy would be coming back and doing what he's doing i figure you know grandma and grandpa could just you know have their last few golden years peaceful and stuff and I could uh, get reintegrated into society and, you know, take some remote uh, classes and get back to work and stuff, you know, and have, have a, a good transition back into society. But this guy, this guy's making it a living fucking hell and he's doing it on purpose. The stuff he's doing is on purpose. And uh, there for a long time, between again being on uh, probation and held here at gunpoint, uh, cyber terrorism, domestic terrorism, if, for those that don't know never proved anything just uh played no contest maintained my innocence nothing was ever proven against me but that's the way the cookie crumbles i'll talk about that another day uh you know i never expected the covid lockdowns like as soon as my probation got over covid lockdowns happened so i, I mean it, it sucked <laughs> that's all i can say i got trapped here <laughs> Uh, but all that's over now, and I'm I'm getting it in gear, and I'm getting the fuck out. I'm just going to leave Grandma to the wolves. I mean, what else can you do? Okay, I think I'm done for the day. I've got three large trash bags full of junk out of there, mostly just deteriorated crap. And I wanted to show the few things that I, I decided to... Well, actually, I'm not going to salvage all of this, but I wanted to set aside for people to look at. There's only two things here that I'm gonna salvage and that is the little cassette tape transformer. Turns into a bird. I thought that was neat. Just randomly laying there, let me flip it over. You know, she turns into like a falcon type bird. There's another version of this that turns into like a, like a cat. But also like from the eighties, when we were in the Boy Scouts, and this one, this one, by the way, this, this shitty ass racer, or maybe it was that one. But I remember these got first place. And, you know, you could just see, like, a little kid what the theme style. You know, the blue with the red paint. And I remember people coming in with all these elaborate designs. And all I did was make a wedge. <laughs> and it, that was actually, you know, the best and the fastest car. That, that's literally all I did. You start with a chunk of wood and you, 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 the, you carve it out. And I literally just made a wedge. And uh, it was the winner. 
And the last thing is this is what I call my mom's death mask. This is a paper mache mask. Uh, it used to be in that old house. My mom used to be kind of in the, into the arts too. I guess that's where I got it from. And the thing always creeped me out, this is her face. And I'm gonna document it. Might even take a few photos of it because I'm throwing this away. It always creeped me out. I always felt it was cursed. Uh, never did like it. I'm definitely not gonna hold on to it. You know, if she ever sees this all these years later, uh, which I doubt she will. You ever play a lethal company? Yeah. <laughs> Do you get the lethal company uh, reference? Yeah, I'm doing lethal company in real life here. That's my mom's paper mache mask. Back when she was probably still a teenager, still in the high school. So, late 60s. It's going in the fucking trash. Going in the fucking trash. Like, I can imagine somebody digging that up and finding it 100 years from now and wondering, like, what the fuck. I mean, this old speaking spell that I'm going to try to at least clean up. Uh, I'll throw it on. I might th try to throw it on eBay and see what happens. But that's really the only thing that, that that was actually kind of pristine was that right there was this old no i wonder if that'll focus if there's actually a date on that i can't read the markings and the camera doesn't want to focus well maybe somebody can do a google and figure out you know the era that I, that was from i remember the the transformers you could get they had a oh what was the name shockwave was that the transformers name he would hold these little transformers and he's uh, he was a cassette tape player transformer he's really cool uh my cousin had him and i had a few of the cassettes but the rest of it though the rest of it though it's it's getting out of here found my old weed eater Back in the day when we used to, to weed eat, that's what we used to use. There was no, I mean, there were power weed eaters back then, but that's what we had to use. Imagine going around these hills with just a sickle and, and doing it all. I had to do that as a kid. Yep. I'm going to seal her up because I, I can always, I already feel like the parvo and the, or, or what's that, that virus that the deer mice carry? Now I can always I already feel all these diseases and stuff getting in my blood and it's cold out. Anthrax getting dug up and Lord knows what. I don't want to call it a night. Rabies from the bats that shit in here. Airborne rabies, yeah. Tetanus. Luckily I've had a, most of my shots up to date before I started doing all this, but still it always makes you paranoid. I'm taking every precaution that I can. Can't wait to start on that trailer. It's gonna be a mess. Yep, nothing but memories left. Nothing but memories. Again, cleaning this out. I'm gonna use it as when I start cleaning this shit out. It's like a secondary holding because my uncle is being a passive aggressive dipshit. Luckily I found a broom and a broom pan. You know, it made things a little easier. And I brought the shovels up here. Yeah, my uncle's been a passive aggressive dipshit. Anytime I try to do work, he literally blocks the driveway. If you found this video useful or entertaining, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as it really helps the channel out. You can also leave questions and comments down below. Until next time, take care. Thanks for watching, and bye bye.